Welcome back to another exciting episode of Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. I'm Colorful Arty, your host as always, and today we finally can go on with the actual plot of the game. We're going to the fifth area today. And we got a sweet new sword last episode, so that's pretty cool. So the fifth world is this way. Now that we've got the switch hook, there's something towards Rolling Ridge that we can do. Also, we can cut signposts with our sword now as well. Oh yeah, when, when we have full HP, sword beams, baby! Sword beams are usually not as powerful as the actual sword, but on a cursed playthrough they actually might be more powerful. And we can use the switch hook to get across those. In the present, this whole area is covered in cliffs, so you can't go up them, even with Ricky. Ah, no Gasha Seeds. And we're in the Goron world! This is the home of the Gorons! It's terrible! The Goron Elder has been buried alive under some rocks! What do we do? Help! Hurry! The Elder will die if we don't hurry! If only we had a bomb flower! The Elder is buried alive, but Gorons alone can't dig him out. If we had the legendary bomb flower, we could blast the rocks away. Would a regular bomb work? Nope. Rats. Well, let's make use of our tune of currents to go to the present. Yeah, so if we go over this way, we'll notice if there's a cliff, like, to the side like that, Ricky actually cannot jump up that, so that's unfortunate. Oh well, it looks like they got rid of the rocks one way or another. Also, there's a really, really, really well-hidden secret in Rolling Ridge somewhere. Where you bomb a completely normal looking wall, and there's like a prize behind it. There it is! You did a good job finding my hiding place! We get a rain! That's a very rare rain, this is the only place you can get it in the game. How you'd find it without a strategy guide? I have no idea. Some weird building suddenly appeared here on Rolling Ridge. Some guy called the Great Moblin built it, but it's in our way. Oh, we remember him from Oracle of Seasons. He's the guy whose house we blew up like five times. A young boy brought bomb flowers to Rolling Ridge. Thanks to him, bomb flowers are now the product that makes Rolling Ridge famous. Well, I wonder if he looks like me. As a time traveler, I could be responsible for that. Rolling Ridge is in an uproar now with the Great Moblin here. And that wall looks slightly different. We can blow it up. And there's a piece of heart back here if you care. And yeah, Rolling Ridge is crawling with moblins. I want to get rid of the Great Moblin, but I can't roll fast enough to get there. Long ago, on top of this ridge, there was a tree that had seeds that made you go fast. Even a Goron could roll at great speeds. Well, thanks for the info. We'll totally take advantage of that. And we get 30 rupees. That's nice. Trust me, when potions are 300 rupees a pop, you do what you can to get as many rupees as possible. Even just using the shovel to dig like crazy, occasionally you'll unearth like 100 rupees, which is great. Do, 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 do. Great Moblin's palace is a north. You can't read it from here. I wasn't trying to, I was trying to destroy it. Okay, watch out because there's a Deku scrub under that rock. Those Deku scrubs are the hardest to get rid of, like, you pretty much can't without taking damage. Yay, time portal! 
Also a fairy fountain in here. But before we use the time portal to go back to the past, let's explore the Great Moblin's Fortress, or at least what we can of it. Nothing up there. Alright. Yeah, we can't get through that. Well, that was cool. Let's get out our rocks fever. Um, okay. Ow. This is annoying because you have to time the fireballs just right. And you never know where there's, whether there's going to be one or three of them. Oh, boy. There is actually a purpose for doing this. Hey, cheap cheeps. Nothing down there. No, okay, good. Thank you. Lame. Stupid bat. Take that. Shoot. Not what I wanted to do. I should have climbed up the ladder earlier. Oh well. Ow. Take that, you doofus moblin. Tune of Echoes to the past. Alright, this is that's the dangerous screen. Oh shoot, that was Maple. Alright, thankfully that was the last one in the area. Dig for some hearts or rupees. I really don't care which we get. Thank you. Oh, I love sword beams. Because Great Moblin just built his palace uh, recently, there's nothing there now. Not 400 years in the past, but there is a nice little tree up here. You got Pegasus Seeds! They'll make you as quick as the legendary steed. Open your seed satchel to use them. So we got those really early in Oracle of Seasons. Oracle of Ages, though, you don't get them till right before the fifth dungeon. Such is life. Nothing there. Ooh, that reminds me. Now that we've got uh, every type of seed, there's something we need to do. We're going back to the South Shore to meet with everybody's least favorite Zelda character. Yeah, we're meeting back with Tingle. He's told us to go back once we've gotten many types of seeds. That's what we're going to do. Oh, no. Alright, let's do it here. There's Tingle. Alright, I gotta time this jump just right then. Hey! Yeah! Excellent. Doo-doo. Doo-doo-doo-doo. Doo-doo. 
Hey, Tangle. What's this? Look at all the mystical seeds you've gathered! Tingle the fairy can make it so your satchel can carry more seeds, shall I? Yes, please. Very well, then Tingle shall work his magic. Close your eyes. Tingle, tingle, kululim, pa! Your seed the satchel can now carry more seeds. We can now carry 50 of each type of seed. Thanks, Tingle. Now let's get out of here. Warp back to the top of Rolling Ridge. Alright, now that we've got Pegasus Seeds, we can go back to the present and take on the Great Moblin. Pegasus Seeds, we can carry 50 of each type now. Yeah! Also, get out your Power Bracelet, because you're going to need it for this fight. Hey, you're that meddling boy! Well, this time things won't go the way they did in Hollow Drum. I've gone to great trouble using the bomb flowers I stole from the Gorons. Taste my bombs! Come on, fool! Oh, he gets the intense boss music now, so wait for the, them to be about to blow up and throw them back to him, and he'll blow up. And avoid the bombs that the little moblins are throwing. I love the boss music. Boss music is great. It really, really is. Yeah, Great Moblin we fought multiple- er, I think- I want to say only once in Holodrum, but we blew up his house a couple times after that. Alright, now they're blowing up quicker. Take that! No, it can't be! Why me? I don't know who you are or where you're from, but thank you for getting rid of the Great Moblin. That wretch was keeping us from growing bomb flowers. Now we can grow bomb flowers without any worries. Take one as a sign of our thanks. You got a bomb flower. Handle it with care. Now that I think about it, long ago a young boy saved the Goron Elder. Maybe you can be like that boy. We won't get pushed around the next time a guy like the Great Moblin comes around. Thanks. Is this really necessary? Artie, your name has appeared in old Goron tales. Their legends tell of a great hero who saved the Gorons in their hour of need. What could this mean? I don't know. I have a time-traveling device, so it probably means I did something in the past. So we can go back down there if we want. What's back here? Oh, that's right. That's the route to the dungeon. Well, I want to go back down here, believe it or not. Ow. Because I missed an item down here. Come at me, fish. Actually, don't at me. Don't cut out. Come at me. Yeah, up here, I want to say. Yeah, okay. At the very least, the rain will give me 10 rupees, so that's always nice. I love the Noble Sword. This is a Vaulten Labyrinth. Check and mate. Alright, let's get out of here. Ooh, 
gotta go back to the past, Marty! So now that we've got the bomb flower, we can free the Goron Elder who has been trapped. And then we'll be right en route to the next dungeon. Move it, tights, not interested. If we jump on down there, we can circle around back. Hey! Is that one of the legendary bomb flowers? You can't fool me, that's the unmistakable smell of a bomb flower. Please, let me have that bomb flower. Yeah, sure. Thank you, now we can save the Elder. So those are way more powerful than a regular bomb. Only in this game, though. Huh? What's wrong, brothers? Were you worried about me? <laughs> a rock that size can't hurt me! <laughs> Man, the Elder is so awesome! Did you bring us the bomb flower? Sorry to trouble you! This is the shiny key I found on Northern Peak! I never found the keyhole, so I'll give this to you. You got the crown key! We shall take good care of the bomb flowers you brought us. We shall fill the peaks with them. Yeah, the Goron Elder, it's like he gets crushed by like a massive rock, and he's like, Oh yeah, that didn't hurt me at all. Like, seriously, what an awesome guy. What's going on? I heard a loud noise. Are you still asleep, dude? Come on. Alright. So the Elder was alright? That's good. You humans are looking stranger every day. What happened? Uh, thanks, dude. That's not rude or anything. And if we go for here, yep, we've circled all around the way around back. Well, now that we've got the crown key, we can use that to enter the fifth dungeon. By taking the secret passageway through the back of the Great Boblin's palace. Don't know why he built it in front of a cavern, but... Eh, whatever. Maybe he thought it made him feel regal. Thank you. Hey, Owl. Greater speed gives greater distance. So that's basically telling you, yeah, use Pegasus Seeds to jump farther with Rock's Feather. When you have Pegasus Seeds deployed, you can jump over two pits. And it makes it extremely difficult to jump over only one pit, so... That's why I waited for them to wear off. And on that note, we've entered level 5, the Crown Dungeon, and that's where we're going to leave the episode off for today. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie, hope to see you next time. Have a great day, and God bless!